Okay, um, this question has quite a lot to it. So what I always think it's good to do is, before you get into the questions, to think about this. So um, the question wants us to talk about what is complete and incomplete combustion. What is the trend in energy changes and give any word equations in my answer. Okay, so I'm going to use that approach to help me. So what I've done here, and I'm doing it in note form. You would need to do this as written form. And before I, before we go through the notes, I think it's also helpful to remember the formulas for each of these. So we know this is one carbon, eth is two carbons, prop is three, and butane is four carbons. So definitions, complete combustion is burning a fuel in a plentiful supply of oxygen, and that leads to the formation of carbon dioxide and water. Incomplete combustion is when we burn a fuel in a limited supply of oxygen, and that leads to the formation of carbon monoxide and or carbon, which is soot, and also water. Word equation, so methane plus oxygen is carbon dioxide and water, and use the same alkane, so methane plus oxygen could be carbon monoxide and water. In terms of the data, we've not, we've not talked about the data side this yet, so in terms of the data, we can see that as the molecules become larger, the temperature rise is greater. Just let me show you that on the chart. So here, as we go down here, these molecules are getting bigger because there's more carbons and the temperature change is increasing. And the second thing that means then is the larger molecules release more energy and all those reactions are releasing energy, so therefore they're all exothermic energy is being released.